so goddamn right. This is nuts. Okay, um, so I went to uh, SoCal for the first time uh, the other month. I went to LA. Um, and the stereotypes are true. It's like a different world, like a little La La Land. We didn't see the movie, like, fuck it, didn't see it. I don't watch movies really. Uh, but, like, the La La thing, it's like La La Land, it's a whole different world. All true. As a city, uh, the areas that I saw, um, I, I, I like a city like Chicago and New York, and even here, uh, Twin Cities, Minneapolis, Cruz. Like, I need a city to have agitation. Like, I need the people to be agitated. Otherwise, I just don't consider it to be a city. The people in LA were too laid back. Like, if there was one <laughs> state that didn't need weed legalized, it was the one that actually did it, like, basically <laughs> first. Uh, and yeah, so it was cool. Uh, went on a studio tour at, uh, and Warner Bros, and it was cool because the guy who gave us a tour, I saw his dreams die in front of us. Um, no, it's true. He went out to LA to be like a Foley, like sound guy. I don't know if there's people who know stuff about like uh, film production. Uh, what that is, is like they basically make sound effects for movies, and it's totally cool. And instead, this dude is telling me about the Friends Fountain. <laughs> because he really got his life right, and I'm just here. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, so that was cool. Um, and I went out there for a wedding, uh, which was cool. Uh, but I'm starting to think a wedding is just an enormous amount of work people do to, to prove their love to other people. <laughs> that was what I kind of saw from the perspective of my friend getting married. Uh, he invited all us like assholes out there, and uh, it was really nice. It was really touching. Um, what else do I have? What else do I have? I'm really doing a good job, like the guy on the studio tour. Um, oh, so I got into. I've been doing yoga a lot recently, and I'm really and thanks whoever did that. I don't know why. Um, do yoga if you aren't. And, uh, <laughs> you want me to touch my toes? Who said that? I'll do that. This is really good comedy. <laughs> Thank you. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I'm taking up all the time. I don't give a fuck. I have nothing prepared, so I'll just... Tell me to do something else and I'll do it. I don't really care. I can't do that. <laughs> that I can't do. Um... But no, I, I got into yoga uh, because I, I suffered some form of depression because my jeans are really awesome. And uh, I did it. Yeah. My parents were perfect matches. Uh, <laughs> no, so I, I got into yoga because I look at yoga people and I go, no one does yoga and kills themselves. And they, they just, but I, then I started thinking like, are, are yogis happy or are they just not sad? Like, they seem too chill about everything. Like, no matter what the conflict is, they'll be like, oh, let me do some pranayama breathing and I'll just be good as fuck. And I just go, that's really cool that uh, you're able to basically take control of your own well-being, whereas us uh, are dependent on uh, medicine like Xanax. Um, <laughs> don't abuse that stuff if you do. Um, or if you do it, do it responsibly. Um, <laughs> Actually, yeah, abuse, like, abuse all shit responsibly, like, fuck it. Um, you only live once, so enjoy it. Uh, what else? Um, all right, yeah, I'll, I'll finally do the joke that I've been afraid to do this whole time. And no one's gonna laugh, it's gonna be really uncomfortable, I'm just gonna walk off stage as soon as I do the punchline, and I won't care. Um, so, um, yeah, so I've been seeing my shrink, the same shrink for the past uh, four years. And only like three times have we gone over the allotted like one hour mark. And it's because I do this trick where with five minutes left, I just tell her, I'm gonna kill myself! <laughs>